Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lesson we are going to introduce a companion library to NGRX Store. We are going to introduce NGRX Effects. NGRX Effects is a library from the NGRX ecosystem that allows us to handle store side effects. To better understand what is a side effect, let's give a concrete example. Let's take for example here the login action. Whenever we log in a user to the application, one of the things that we want to do is to add the user credentials to the state in memory that we have in the store. And that's what we are doing here in our reducer. We are also setting the logged in flag to true. Another thing that we want to do in our application is to save those credentials, for example, in local storage or in a cookie. We are going to be using local storage. And why is that? Because we want those credentials to be injected transparently in the store if the user hits here the refresh button. So we don't want to have to log in the user again each time that the user hits refresh. We want the session to survive page refreshes. Saving the user credentials in local storage is an example of a side effect that we want our application to produce in response to the login action. This is called a side effect because the action is not only affecting the state of the store via the reducer, but the action is also producing some other modification of state outside of the store. In this case, our side effect is modifying the content of local storage, but this could also affect the database. So a side effect is an usual way for synchronizing the state of the in-memory store with the database transparently in the background without affecting the user experience. Now we could implement this logic here directly in our component, but what if there would be other ways of logging in to this application? Let's say for example a login using a social media platform. When that login is successful, we would also like to dispatch to the store the user credentials. So that logic of storing the user credentials into local storage and fetching it back when the application gets refreshed we want that to happen anywhere on the application, independently if it's the login page that gets refreshed and independently of what part of the application exactly triggered the login. In summary, what we need is a service that is continually checking what actions are dispatched to the store and in response to certain actions, it's going to produce certain side effects. We call this a side effect because the state is not only being stored in the store via the reducer. The state is also being sent to a third party database, to local storage. It's producing a side effect somewhere else on the system other than the store itself. So that's why it's called a side effect. Let's go ahead and create one of these side effect services. That's exactly what NGRX effects is for. In order to create an effect service, we are going to head over here to the command line and we're going to be using NGRX schematics to produce our side effect service. So let's go ahead and do a ng generate. Then we are going to generate an effect service. We are going to specify the path onto which we want to create the service and we are going to specify the name of the service itself. So we are going to call it the off effect and we want it to be placed here inside the off path. Next, we are going to specify which module do we want to attach this effect. So we are going to go ahead and specify here this option module and we're going to pass it the path and the name of the authentication module. With this, we have completed our command. Let's go ahead and trigger it and see what it generates in the file system. So as you can see, we have here a couple of new files and a spec. We have specified here the authentication effect service. This is going to be our service that we are going to be implementing in a moment. And we have also modified here the authentication module file as we can see, we have added here an effect modules for feature call. This for feature call is essentially registering this authentications class as a side effect class. Now that we know what an NGRX effect is and why it's called like that, let's implement step by step the login side effect. This is coming right up in the next lesson.